here's the idea. We need to get leads from your blog, right? Or we, leads from your WordPress website. And then you want to have those people go straight into a high level so that you can tag them, so you can put them in your automation, so you can send them emails, so you can do a bunch of things, right? And also because Go High Level has got the calendar integration, you want to take that calendar and you want to integrate it into your WordPress website as well. So I'll show you how to do all of those things. Okay, so you've got your Go High Level set up. You've got your WordPress installation done on your Go High Level account. And how do you actually get your website connected to Go High Level? So even though you have the hosting, now if you want to host your landing pages or you want to do forms or whatever on WordPress, on this new WordPress installation, I'm going to show you how to do all of that. But before I do that, in the description below, you'll find a link to a 14 day free trial. Once again, Go High Level is sponsoring this video. They've also given me an affiliate link. And so if you use that link, it'll help the channel and also help you grow your business through integrating Go High Level marketing funnels, calendar, all of the all-in-one tools that they have got going on in the app and also get WordPress hosting for a fee for $10 a month or for whatever plan that you need so that you can actually grow your business online and get things going. So let's get into the rest of the video. So there's WordPress, there's Go High Level, and then there's plugins. And we need to get everything connected so that all the data that we have is gonna go into Go High Level. I have this particular blog created. This is hosted on WordPress. It's hosted on Go High Level on the server. If I go into Go High Level and I go into my WordPress dashboard, if you remember from the previous video, if you haven't seen the previous video, definitely go check it out. These are the plugins that I have installed right now. Go High Level is gone through and I've actually already connected the lead connector. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so this is the process to actually get WordPress connected to, you, to your Go High Level account. What you're gonna need is your API key from Go High Level. If you don't know how to get that, you're gonna go into your Go High Level. You're gonna to go to settings here in the corner, and then you're gonna to go to business profile, and your API key is sitting right here underneath all of your data. So you're gonna copy that. Then you're gonna go into your WordPress installation, and you are going to upload or add plugins. You're gonna to go to plugins and add new, and you're gonna search for lead connector. And so here it is right here, lead connector, and you can see that I've already activated it. In typical WordPress fashion, you hit install now, and then you hit activate, and it is installed. Once that's done, you can see that it's added itself here in the WordPress dashboard or in the menu on the side here. And this is the API key that I pasted it in, and I hit save. Once you hit save, it'll go and make sure that it's connected. So what this allows you to do is to connect two things. One is the chat widget, where if I enable the chat widget, if I pull and save right now, and if I go to the actual WordPress site and I hit refresh, now you see that there's this little chat goodie here in the corner, which I've already pre-configured from Go High Level. You can see that I've customized this because I'm on the whitelisted version of, of High Level. And inside Go High Level, if you wanna go and customize those things, you go to sites and you go to chat widget, and that's where you can basically set your you know, widget and, and things up. So you can enable the chat bubble to pop up when, when you want to. That's a good idea sometimes. And then you can customize the greetings. And then of course you can create an automation based on, on things that, that's going on here. This is not a chat widget tutorial, but this is just some of the power behind WordPress and the Go High Level installation. The next thing you can do is obviously the funnels. You can see that I have a page here that's already connected. So I'm gonna go and delete that so that I can start this from scratch. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a funnel page to my WordPress website. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take a funnel page or a page that I have in my Go High Level account. So if I go to funnels, let's say I wanted to add a checklist into my WordPress website as a page. Right, so I have got this funnel called Shop Launch Pro Membership, which is basically a funnel, which is a lead magnet that goes into a sales page and then there's the order form and things for Shop Launch Pro. I've got this checklist page and right now you can see, I'm gonna open up this page and it's hosted on Go High Level on bridget.com checklist, right? So I'm back in WordPress and I'm going to go and add that funnel or add that funnel page. So you can see here's the funnel and now I'm gonna go choose the step, which is the checklist. And then I'm gonna decide whether I wanna redirect to the funnel URL, 
which basically is just a, if somebody clicks on this specific link, they're gonna go straight to that page on bridget.com, or I can embed the full page iframe on blog.bridget.com forward slash whatever I decide to call it. So let's say I decide to call this Shopify checklist. That's a nice thing. When you hit space, it adds the dash because a slug cannot have a space in it. Okay, we're gonna use the site favicon, which is perfectly fine, which will load from WordPress. And then we're gonna include the tracking code. This is gonna track all of the stats and things on the funnel from WordPress. Okay, so we're gonna hit save. And so basically what it's gonna do is it's giving me my URL, which is this one. And if I can click view, it's now on blog.bridget.com forward slash Shopify dash checklist. And so this is giving me control over the page where it's like, okay, this is actually on my blog, right? But it's a fully designed page. It has Bridget at the bottom. It has this form is already connected to go high level. The page is embedded actually on my WordPress installation and it works totally fine. That's how you get your landing pages from go high level into WordPress or using your WordPress domain. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually embed a form from your Go High Level account. So if you go to your form builder, and I'm gonna grab that exact same form that I have for the Shopify checklist, which you can see is this specific one here. This looks very similar, the buttons, etc. And I'm not gonna do any design changes here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit integrate form, and you'll see there's a bunch of different ways that I can integrate this form. So what I'm going to do is actually do an inline form and this is going to go into my blog post. I'm going to copy the embed code and I'm going to go into the WordPress installation. I'm going to go here to this hello world post which is already published and you can see there's the block editor. I'm going to add a new block and I'm going to hit I think HTML, custom HTML and I'm going to write the HTML which is basically dropping the form code that I've just copied. Now, of course, in a, in a normal sense of, sense of the word, you'd have like, you know, your entire blog post, whatever the post is gonna be, you're gonna write things, you're gonna have your form for people to join the checklist or whatever the case may be. So you can see that this form doesn't actually have a heading, so I can say, download the free Shopify launch checklist below. So now that looks a little bit better. And if I wanted to format things or whatever. Now again, this is on the default WordPress theme. Now I know a lot of you are not using the default WordPress theme, but it's similar, right? So on any page builder, you're gonna have the ability to add an HTML element to your site. Okay, so if I go ahead and hit update and hit preview and go to preview this page in a, in a new tab, you can see that this form loads. You can format this form a little better inside of Go High Level. You can have a pop-up, you can have a slide in, you can have sticky bar. They all work exactly the same way. You can set sort of how you want these to show up on the site and change these settings of how they are triggered and just copy the code and stick it in your page or in your site. Okay, so that's all well and good, but if you're not confident that Go High Level forms are gonna load properly, like you could see, the form was a little bit jumpy over there. And it's got nothing to do with the host doing anything. That's just sometimes, you know, WordPress formatting or go high level loading because it's an iframe that's loading on the site. It might delay a little bit. What you could do is you could actually have plugins. So here's one that I found a little bit earlier today in researching for this video, and it's called Optingly. Basically what this does is it's gonna help you grow your email list do all of your pop-ups and things on your WordPress website, and it has the ability to connect directly into Go High Level. Another way that you could do things is you could use WP Fusion. Now I'm showing you the WP Fusion Lite version here on the screen. The paid version of WP Fusion will connect directly into Go High Level as well, and you can embed your forms in Elementor or in Divi or in any other tool that you're using, and that'll make it super, super easy for you to just design as you need to and connect the forms that you want. So once that's done, what you can do is go ahead and, and you know connect an automation. So for example, here I've got the form on my personal website, I've got the form on 
the landing page and I've also got a lead form that's advertised right now on Facebook and I've got this you know adding a tag sending emails and I've got a bunch of leads that are going through this process so a WordPress website that's connected to go high level is kind of like the best combination of how to get like organic traffic from your blog or to your blog and then generate leads for your business the link to go high level is in the description I'll see you on the next video thank you so much bye